Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to set up Scan to Folder for Iconica Minolta Scanning to a Windows computer. We're going to start by creating a new user for the computer. This will be the account the copier uses to scan. Right-click the Start option, then Settings, and on the left here you're going to go to Accounts and then scroll down to Other Users. and then click Add Account. But click I don't have this person sign in. And then add a user without a Microsoft account. Give your account a name. I like to give it something simple like scans. Then create a password for your account. Now for the security questions. You can answer all of these or for this specific account, you can just type NA to save yourself some time. Then click Next. Close out of this window. Now we need to create a folder to scan to. Just right click, mouse over new, and then click folder. And I'm going to name this folder scans. Right click your new folder and go to show more options. Then properties. Then go to the sharing tab. Then click share this folder. Here in the drop down, we can select the new user that we just created. So I'll click Add, and then right-click and select Read and Write, then click Share, and now click Done. If you don't have access to that, or if you got an admin prompt, you'll need to reach out to IT department for further assistance. Right. So now we're going to go to Advanced Sharing, check this, uh, share this folder box, then click uh, Permissions, click Add, and type in the name of that user that you created. When you click check name, it should populate with that user like this. Click OK, and then give full control to that user that we created. Now click OK, then OK again. Then click Close. And then come down to this little icon in the bottom right and right click it. Go to Network and Internet Settings. And then make sure that Properties here is set to Private Network. Now close that out. So for this next part, you're gonna need the IP address for your copier. If you don't have that, there's a link in the description that will show you how to get that information. Once you have that information, open up your browser and type that IP address into the top. That's gonna to take you to the main screen for your Konica. You may also get taken to a login screen. If so, just go ahead and log in as a public user. If you don't have the public user option, you can log in as an administrator. The default admin password is one through eight. If that doesn't work, try one through eight twice in a row. In this example, I'm just gonna log in as a public user and then click store address, then address book. And then you're gonna do new registration. We're gonna change it from email address to SMB and give it a name. So. Let's say uh, Preston's scans. This is the section of the address book the user will appear in, so make sure that is correct. You can check favorite here to make it even easier to find at the top of your address book. And then here's where you're gonna put in the IP address of your computer. I'll show you how to find that really quick. Come down here and then type in CMD. And click enter. From here, you're going to type in ipconfig, all one word, and hit enter. Scroll up and look for either Ethernet adapter, or if you're on Wi-Fi, you'll have a Wi-Fi adapter. And then you want to take this IP address. Here, you can right-click it, and that'll copy it. All right, so it will look something like that. For file path. That is going to be the name of the folder that you created. So I'm just going to put in scans. And then for user ID and password, it's going to be the user account that we created earlier. So I name mine scans, and then I'll put the password in. All right, and double check your information, make sure this all looks good. And then go ahead and scroll down and hit OK. Here it says registration complete. That means it worked. And then now, once you're done, go ahead and go to the copier and 
test out the scan to folder and make sure that it is successfully working. I'm using a remote panel to show you what it would look like. So you'll hit the scan option from the main screen. Since we set ourselves as a favorite, you'll see here I have pressed and scans. You click that, put your page in and then click start. And then depending on if it's good or not, it'll say it failed or it went through. And then you just check your folder that we created and your scan should be there. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.